What is going on boys? Today I'm going to be showing you the best settings for beginners in Fortnite chapter 2 Fortnite season 8. If you do enjoy these videos, please leave a like and let's go ahead and get straight into the settings. First up guys, when no mode you really want full screen, this just gives the best FPS and lowest input delay for your game. You can also experiment with window full screen. Uh, it's a little bit less FPS and uh, more delay, but it still feels decent. And obviously windowed, you really don't want that, so let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Resolution guys, uh, the, basically how resolution works, the lower resolution you have, the more FPS you get. So say I go to 1280 by 720, it'll give me more FPS, but it will actually make the quality degrade by quite a lot. I'm pretty sure for 1280 by 720, it's like 60% 3D red. So if you go all the way to 60, this is how the game looks and it looks super pixely and not too great. I really do recommend 1920 by 1080 just because it's really nice. It feels good. It just looks good because it's a 1080p quality. Brightness, you guys want it on 75%. This helps you to see better, honestly, in my opinion. You you can experiment on your own but 75% is good for me user interface contrast you want uh one x uh color bond mode you want triton nope and then for your 3d resolution right here you guys you do want it on 90 percent or you can put it on 100 but 90 it still gives you good quality it just looks a little bit worse and it's not that big of a difference in my opinion it makes your game feel a lot better and increases fps just by a little bit to be honest i know there's pros like colazo who did this and it really helped him out too so that's why i started doing it and it feels great right now i'm on performance mode guys i have view distance on near textures on medium and meshes on low this is the best settings for the highs fps in your game if you want quality you can switch to dx12 or dx11 and you can uh and you can mess around with all the textures and shadows and everything don't really recommend it but if you want to do that you can the difference between high and low meshes is basically high meshes looks different and um it's basically dx12 and dx11 but without grass and extra shadows and effects the low meshes just simply just lower graphics quality in general uh, it just gives you a bunch of more FPS, to be honest. We're going to go on settings right here. For your matchmaking, we do want it on the lowest. If you just hover over this, you can see on the right where the lowest stuff is. And the east, and the west. Just pick the lowest one because the lower ping equals less delay in your mouse. And you can just play better, place builds better, shoot better. And it's a lot better for your game if you want to get better at the game. Obviously, you can change your language if you want. Movement, I recommend these settings. Toggle sprint off, sprint by default on, auto open doors on, and sprint cancel reloading off. For combat, you also just want to do on, off, on, off. Uh, you can change if you want. Prefer item slots is a thing as well, where you can actually choose which gun goes in which slot. This just messes with me because I've never had this. Um, if I was always just played without it. So if you want to do that, you can. But I recommend not to do that. For building, you want on, off, on, on. Uh, disable pre-edit option for me i just do that because i'm a more advanced player i honestly actually recommend it to be on because pre-edit pre-edits can mess you up if you don't know what a pre-edit is it's basically before you even place a build you can edit it to the shape that you want to place it in so basically if i wanted to place a triangle i would edit it before i place it and that's what a pre-edit is and then for extra game options right here I just have these right here. And this is really important for replays. You want all of these to be off and this just increases FPS by a lot. It helps your game run a lot smoother because it doesn't record something in the background. For the sensitivity guys, I'm just gonna give you my sensitivity. You can experiment on your own. And I've made so many videos of trying out pro settings and everything explaining how they work. So if you wanna go scroll down my YouTube channel and watch those videos too, you can. I recommend looking off of a pro setting and trying their sensitivity, but this is mine and I do play 1200 DPI. I do have a fairly small mass pad too so i'm mostly a wrist player so it really depends what kind of player you are watch my other videos and see which one you think will fit the best for you you can also just research them online or on youtube and that should be good as well for my controller settings even though i don't use controller i'm just gonna scroll down them just so you guys can see if you actually want them for volume this really relies on your system's audio output um like if you actually have your headphones set at like 100 volume or something you might want to have this lower but you can just test this out yourself you do want sound quality on low though that is one of the things and that's about it for this now for keybinds guys the moment you guys have all been waiting for i'm gonna go ahead and move my face cam so you guys can see it now guys the reason i don't have w a s and d for move forward left backward and right is because i use double movement if you don't know what that is it's basically you can get controller movement on keyboard it's for for advanced players so if you are a beginner uh just bind w a s and d here i don't have it i'm not gonna bind it right now but that's what you do when you just want to click on this click w and you should be good i'm just gonna scroll down the rest of these i'm gonna explain what the most optimal keybinds actually will be these are my keybinds i'm gonna explain the most optimal keybinds and i might even show bajarian's video real quick
So boys, I am at Jerrion's video right now, and as you can see, I'm looking at his keybinds. And as he goes down, as you can see, he has some weird keybinds like Weapon Slot 5. This is uh, like obviously customizable by you and your preference. As you can see, these are the most optimal building keybinds. And basically what the most optimal building keybinds is anything close to your fingers. But you really don't want to have any keybinds that are blocking uh your index or ring finger if and if you don't know what those fingers are it's your second and fourth finger on your hand this is because you're using the uh w a s and d the a and d keys are your ring and index finger and you need those to actually move around so as you can see his floor is f etc his roof is q there's are actually thumb mouse button and that's actually a really good thing you should have too if you have a uh, mouse with thumb mouse buttons that'll be really good. and here's my combat controls for controller if you don't really if you actually want them and as you can see he also use it utilizes something called scroll wheel reset which is actually really useful there's probably tutorials out there if you want me to make a tutorial comment down below but the rest of the video he just explains why they're why they're optimal and he also says that noah rayleigh actually uses him also he does use e for edit now i'm gonna play with these have a good day guys enjoy the gameplay